Hey everyone, and welcome back to It's Tech Time. If you are a system administrator or a DevOps engineer, you know how time consuming it can be to create new user accounts manually. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to write a bash script that will automate the process of adding users to a Linux system. What you'll learn in this video is how to write a bash script for user creation, how to set the initial passwords and enforce password changes, and error handling to ensure smooth execution. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a powerful automation tool that will save you time and reduce interruptions. So let's dive in. So imagine this, you're a Linux system administrator in a large organization. Your company is rapidly growing and every week new employees are joining. Between your main responsibilities, you're constantly being asked by HR or maybe the help desk to create Linux accounts for the new hires. And manually adding users every time can be a really big hassle and it will interrupt your workflow every time. So what is the solution? To automate it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to write a bash script that will create a new user, assigns an initial password, forces the user to change their password at first login, and provides user account details for record keeping. Before we write our script, Let's outline the key requirements. This script must be ran as root. It will prompt for user details, for example, the username, a full name, and initial password. It will create the user account and set the password. It will enforce password change at first login. It will handle errors gracefully. And finally, it will display the account information for documentation. So now that we have a plan, let's start writing. Here on my Linux terminal, I'm going to do touch create underscore user dot sh. And now I'm going to open that file with a text editor. I'm going to use nano because it's easier to show you in the video what I'm doing. And the first thing we need to do in our script is to check if the script is being ran as the root user. And if not, we should exit with an error message. So this one right here will first make sure that we are running as the root user. And then if I'm not the root user, it will echo out this error message saying that the script must be ran as root. And then it's going to exit the script without running. So this will make sure that the script will run as super with the super user privileges that are needed for adding a user. Now we need to prompt the admin for the new user's details. So this read-p will prompt for input. Going to echo out the username and then whatever we put outside of the username is going to be saved as a variable username. Then it's going to ask for the full name and then whatever we enter after that is going to be saved under the variable full name. And it's going to do the same thing with the password. Now the difference with this dash s here by the password means that it's going to hide the password input that we put in for security. Now we create the user account and assign the password. The dash m flag creates the home directory for the user. The dash c flag adds a commit, for example, the full name. And the dash s slash bin slash pass sets the default shell for that user for when they log in. And to force the user to change the password, we use this password dash dash expire and the username. And this will ensure that the user must set a new password the very first time they log in. Now we will need to check that the account was created successfully. This if command will check if the previous command failed or not. And if it did fail, it's going to echo out user creation failed and it's going to exit. But if it didn't fail, it's going to keep going. Finally, let's display a summary of the new account details. This can be for HR or for the help desk record keeping process. The host name fetches the server name where the account was created. So now we're gonna save the script and exit, and we're gonna run sudo chmod plus x, and then the file name, and this is gonna make the file executable. So now, if I just do dot uphill slash and then the file, I'm gonna get an error because, and that error message we saw simply meant that I had this, I had a typo in my shebang meshes here at the top. I had forgot the uphill slash right before bin. So I'm gonna fix that, save, exit. And so now I'm gonna up arrow and simply run the command itself without using sudo. And as we can see, we got the error message saying that this must be ran as root. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up arrow and I'm gonna sudo and run the command again. And so now it's asking me for the new user and I'm gonna just do t user or test user as the username. Now it wants the full name. I'm gonna say test user. And I'm gonna set them a super super password. And remember we had the dash s flag in there, so it's gonna keep it a secret. We'll click enter. And so now for documentation purposes, it's gonna show everything we just did. It's gonna have the username, t user, the full name, test user, tells you on what machine we're on, and this is my 
it's text time server here. So the script looks like it successfully ran. So now we have a physical script set up that HR or the help desk can run manually at any time they want to. But to take it a step farther, you can also automate this with a cron job if you wanted to. So you do a cron tab minus E to edit the cron tab and then go down to the end of it to put in a new line. And we're gonna do zero space eight for at 8 a.m. And then we're gonna tell it to run every day by doing three stars. And then we're gonna to go to the path that the file was saved at. And then we simply save this and exit. So now every morning at 8 a.m. it's gonna run the script and we're gonna be able to create a user automatically. And there you have it. We just automated the Linux user creation process with a simple yet very powerful bash script. So in summary, what we did was with this script, we checked for root privileges, we prompted for user details, we created the Linux account, we set an initial password, we forced password change on the first login, we implemented error handling, and we automated it with a cron job. So what can you do next? You can try this script on your own system, you can modify it to fit your organization's needs, and you can automate more Linux tasks for maximum efficiency. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please like this video, Click subscribe for more automation guides and comment below with any questions or suggestions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.